The Dixie Fire continues to grow, threatening several communities, and one of those communities is Mill Creek. Action News Now reporter Karen Alvarez talked to people there about how they're coping with the fire. Richard Ellis lives in Sonoma. On Friday, he drove up to check on his cabin in Mill Creek. My friend and I decided to come up and try to get some things out of the cabin. We knew the fires were burning. The Dixie Fire had been raging for weeks now, and we felt that probably was a good time to come up and get a few things. But the Dixie Fire changed those plans, keeping him from going past mineral. Ellis is hopeful the fire won't reach his cabin. I think probably the fire is not going to get there. Right now it's an inconvenience that we're not going to be allowed to go back in there for a few days or a week, whatever it is, uh, but that will pass. And that we'll be able to go back in in a, in a week or two or three or a month, whatever it is, and uh, reclaim our life there. I also spoke with a Chester evacuee who's been staying at this motel for a few days. It's stressful. You know, it is. Uh, after spending 40 years in one house, you're, you know, it's kind of hard to leave. It's like... Waking up in a strange place every day, I don't like it. James Fleming says he's taking it day by day. We've been in the same house for 40 years. So it's, you know, that's a shock in itself. Yeah. She misses her plants and hopes somebody's watering for us. I left, I left the gates open around so maybe somebody will water the plants. And, and is eager to go back home. Yeah. So right now it's just a, a matter of just, you know, waiting and... Yep. Put everything in the Lord's hands. Reporting in Mineral, Karen Alvarez, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Both Ellis and Fleming say that despite the ongoing wildfires in California, they wouldn't move to any other state.